Today also I make another dish for you which is uh, biryani. Biryani also like mansab comes with lamb or chicken. Actually it's so tricky you makhitanya dito. Actually it's very hard to, to make this sauce. It has so many ingredients and also so many tricks to make this. If I will do like that, I make it around. You can see there is a dry lemon inside. You can see uh, there is a cinnamon stick, bay leaves, uh, dry hell and dry lemon and there is a also, you kita mo yung seed seed na mali, umulutang dyan. This all they call that uh, gardamon po. It's like a, a seed of the, ano na yan po, para orange. They call this gardamon seeds. Okay? And then, preparation for this, there is also so many uh, spices like cumin, coriander, turmeric, curry powder. The leaves comes with the gardamon, uh, bay leaves, uh, some star anise, some cube, tomato paste yogurt and ginger the preparation but it comes out at the end like that but why it has liquid because i already put the all the super stock to cook the lamb inside because to get more tastier i don't use actually only water i use the really super stock for the lamb or beef or chicken to become more tastier how to prepare now i will show you how to prepare one biryani rice Actually, in the restaurant restaurant business, how to prepare the biryani is different than what you are going to do in the house. In the house, you put the ingredient very small amount, maybe around two or three like that. And then you will they put around one half kilo to one kilo of the bigas inside. And they put super stuff to chicken and they let everything cook together and they bring. That's why in the restaurant business, we don't do that. All right, it will be each order comes out fresh. First, I will prepare the sauce. And when somebody order, I get one like that. Okay, I put in my calderos here. And then, usually I use pressure cooker, a small size. Why? Because it will cook between five minutes. The food go for the time. My uh, malala, because there is pressure inside. And then, I have half cooked rice which is, uh, you can do it at home like this, half cook, or you can use the cooked already. This is basmati rice, I put top of it. Okay. I will put top of the sauce. And this is the important part, is uh, fried onions. We do it ourselves here, you will put top of that. Suppose I have already here melted saffron, it's already ready to, you know, I put a little on top. And then, of course, some parsley. And a little pinch of turmeric powder. Okay, and then we will cover the things. Pressure cooking, and we let it cook in you know, five minutes only. We cook this for five minutes. And while this one is already cooked, you know, our chicken is already boiled, I will make it deep fried. After the deep fried dosho, I will put it inside the sauce, I let it boil for a while, around the chicken get the flavor of the biryani sauce. At the end, I will also top it into biryani rice. Another rice is famous in Middle East, they call that kapsa, okay? But the kapsa, if you make in Saudi area, they put uh, a lot of tomato and tomato paste. The color is red. That's the rest type. But the original kapsa is color uh, red, I know, uh, yellow, which is like that. Okay? You will see this is original kapsa. And the same procedure how I make the biryani, the same procedure you make the kapsa. Same thing for you. But the difference is the kapsa, the chicken is not fried. It's already boiled lancha, the sauce now kapsa. And then the biryani, we will make it deep fried, or you can oven it, and then you will dip it in the sauce to get the flavor. That's the only difference. Now, mamaya, I will make the lawn plating for you. One for the kapsa and one uh, for the biryani. A little deep fried the chicken, something like max, but we don't fry it too much. And then we will put in the biryani sauce to boil for a while to get the flavor. And also in our kapsa, you see the chicken is in the kapsa sauce, but it's not fried. This is also for kapsa. Oh, 
Okay, there is, because this kind of food is, they call that kapsa or biryani, it's not like mansapit as a sauce or soup it is. This is how they eat it. But since it's like a, like the, it's a, like a rice stuffing, we need uh, to prepare something, like usually how they eat the biryani and kapsa. There is something sauce, we make it uh, out of only tomato and chilies. Fresh tomato, we blend it with chilies, they call that the hush. We serve the biryani and kapsa with the hush and some uh, fresh yogurt on the side. That would be put chili, chopped tomato and onion on the side of the plate. We put on the plating, the kapsa. It's already cooked in the cups of sauce. This actually quarter, can be half chicken, can be whole chicken, can be the whole lamb shank or lamb, it depends. And then uh, we'll uh, design it with uh, fresh onion, tomato, and cucumber again. on top. It is, they call that cups of chicken. Okay? Mm -hmm. The dagush I was talking about is only blend the tomato, fresh, not shut cook, something like salads. Very nice. It is fresh tomato blend with uh, some chilies. And also this is fresh yogurt. Okay? This is me became a perfect match for one order. You know, take the pressure out. Remember, maybe some people, they don't know how to use the pressure cooker. That's very dangerous things, actually. Make yourself sure, if, when you turn off the fire, remove it from the fire, remove the, this one. Let all the steam comes out. If you open it like that, it has a lot of pressure inside. Everything goes to your chest, to your face, and you will have a, you will have a problem. You will burn yourself. When you see there is no pressure out of the steam, you just easily can open this. Okay, this is already ready and shut. Okay, I will put a little sauce on top. chicken inside the sauce. Yes. Sauce. Same procedure again, we put fried onion, heated parsley on top. Same thing, cucumber, tomato, one chili and so on. These are the biryani chicken. 